Well, good morning and welcome to the Rebel Express Show. Today is Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. I'm Chris Capaletti, the Athletic Director, Tech Guy, PD Guy for Cuba Rushford. Hello. All right, let's jump right into our happy birthdays. Happy birthday today to Sony Savvy and Noah Barnes. Happy birthday. It is your birthday. Have a great day. I want to thank Charles and Chloe for Charles for the pick and Chloe for the video. Thank you so much. Bo looks like he's having a great time. I think he got to visit. Uh, I'm not sure what the big guy's name is, um, but thanks for sending me the pictures. Man, you guys are just doing a great job down there. I love it. And let's not forget today, virtual challenge, virtual scholastic challenge day. Mr. Kenyon is leading, he's the coach for the senior team and the junior team. That is happening today. We wish them luck. All right, so our Be Awesome, Be Awesome Day at the Middle High School uh, and the elementary school was yesterday. The winners at the middle school, Curtis Robbins, grade 6, Isaiah Wilson, grade 7, and Natalie Burroughs, grade 8. Congratulations on being named Be Awesome winners. Nice job. All right, so, and let's not forget, virtual Scholastic Challenge today. Flame, the North Park Wesleyan Church, Flame, their next event is tonight, 6.30 to 8 p.m. All right, and let's not forget to sign up for meal delivery next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Use this form is located, obviously it's here, it's on the CRCS Facebook page, and it's on the CRCS website. Take that form, give Mr. Leva a call, and you can have meal deliveries to your home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week. All right, and let's not forget about the food drive. So the food drive, the canned food drive, is happening at the elementary and at the middle high school. It is happening at the elementary until December 7th, and it is happening at the middle high school until December 4th. So please, Bring those canned goods in, those non-perishable items, and those go to, I believe, the um, Cuba Cultural Center or the Food Pantry. I'm not sure where they go, but I know this. They help over 250 families uh, in our community that they need the food. If you can bring some food in, please do. All right, and you know what time it is. Tweet of the day. All right, and thank you guys. Thank you, Mrs. Catrone. Tico, is that how you pronounce that? Tico came to my CRCS for Be Awesome Day. That guy's great. Oh, my daughter would love that. My daughter has two cats, Tilly and Rose. They would love to play there. And thank you, Miss Ralston. All right, so it looks like some really complicated things are happening in earth science, but some super cool things are happening in earth science. So thank you, Ms. Ralston, for letting us see what's going on in Mr. Stu Miller's class. And thank you, Ms. Ralston, for uh, giving us this. There's a lesson I keep thinking about. I was so in it, I didn't snap a pic. The conversation and perspectives are still going through my head. 11th grade students sharing gut reactions and identifying biases. Being pushed to think. It is powerful. Thank you, Notorious PhD. Awesome. And Mrs. Flint, two thumbs up on a great day. I Right back at you. Air horn of that one. <laughs> two thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Love it. And thank you, Mrs. Quinn. Bo met his new friend Cooper. That's the talk's name, Cooper, today. So awesome. Thank you, Mrs. Quinn, for tweeting that out. And thank you, CRCS Ag Program. My students called me a nerd, of course, so I need to share. Corn Henge. <laughs> it's a knee slapper. Very fun. And let's not forget about virtual parent-teacher conferences next week. Please contact your child's parents, or if you want to set something up, students, uh, talk to your parents, talk to your teachers. Uh, I believe they're all virtual, but there might be at the middle high school a face-to-face -face option. You can, right here is November 23rd and 24th, virtual meetings on Zoom with this sign was made by Mrs. Schwab for Mrs. Schwab and Mr. S and Mr. Barron. Very similar, contact your teachers if you want to meet next week. All right, we had pitcher retake day yesterday. We're going to have pitcher retake day tomorrow. Very important, very important. Tomorrow at the middle high school, the photographer will only be here 
from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Uh, and then we have to share one photographer between the middle high school and then the elementary. So they're going to be here and then down there. So very, very important. All right, let's not forget about the food drive. The Holiday Heroes Blood Drive, December 7th, right here. Check it out. Winter sports updates. So this came out yesterday. The high-risk winter sports. High-risk winter sports that Cuba Rushford is going to have this year. Basketball, boys volleyball, cheerleading. Those three sports, are their tentative start date is January 4th. Now, that's not in stone. New York State has to approve that start date. Bowling. We have two bowlers. They bowl with Hinsdale. They are scheduled to start November 30th. I believe they've made contact with their coach at Hinsdale, and they're all set because they are a low to moderate risk sport. So very, very important. Basketball, boys volleyball, cheerleading, not going to start until January 4th. But what do you need to do right now, athletes? You need to sign up through Family ID and get your physical updated. I want to repeat that. Get your physical updated. Thank you. All right, Ski Club, the white stuff's on the ground. See Mr. Kenyon. And happy Wednesday, everybody. It is virtual Wednesday here in Cuba Rush for District. Have a great day. Stay warm, and I'll see you next time right here on the Rebel Express Show. Take care.